Make a digital marketing and social media consulting website for free with Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your, your own website for free with Squarespace.com. So this is the main page of our platform. So to get started, you just click on get started, obviously. So here you can browse through a wide range of templates, pre-made pre templates that, you, that if you look pretty much, you can find your niche or you can even find the same template or the same website that you have in mind and that you want to create. So here you can filter by type or by topic of your website. So let's see if you can find social media. So here it is, we have media and podcasts. So let's see what we have in here. So this, so if you want to build a website from scratch without using any of these templates, you can just select this one, which is a blank template where you can build your website from scratch. But for me, I'm going with these templates because I want to save time. So here we can see and scroll down and see if we can find a template that suits our need, which is social media and marketing consulting service. So let's see if we can find anything related to that. So just keep searching until you find the one that suits your need. So let's change the filters. So let's leave it at all templates. And let's see what we can find. So just scroll down and we'll be able to see our various templates. And you'll be able to find one that suits you. So all of this, this is for games, fresh flowers, fine art, so for every day, and a lot more. So finally, I, find, I found the one, guys. This is it. We are a marketing agency, so you can click on preview to see the template. Just click on preview, and then you click on view demo site to see the website in full width. And here you can read and see if this one suits you. So this is exactly exactly what I was looking for. It's a marketing agency that focuses on strategy and design. So this is perfect. We just need to change some pictures, I guess, and some text and leave our own print and it's going to be good. So let's start with this template, click on start with this design and they will set things up for you. The first step is giving a title for your website or you can always close this tab but for me I'm going to give it a title because I create more websites with this platform so I don't want to get mixed between my websites so I want everyone to be to be shown to me and to know which website I'm entering. So let's close these other tabs, we don't need them. I click on close and here you will find a lot of sections that I'm going to explain each one of them. So the first one is website where you can add pages or remove the ones that you already have or adjust them in there. And the second section is commerce when you can when you can see your orders your inventory or if, or if you want to add products or if you want to see it in other ways like memberships you can see your others inventory customers discounts products payments subscriptions and a lot more the third one is marketing and it's pretty obvious for what it is it's where you can manage your CEO and your email campaigns, your pixels and that stuff. Here you have scheduling if you want to set up 
your availability time and your calendar for people to book appointments and meetings here you have the yeah, the asset library when you upload an image to it and you save it in there for future use in your website design here you have analytics where you can have your chart where you can see the visitors the clients and your conversion rate and stuff like that here you can see profiles where you will find the profiles of your clients and settings where you can set your payment processors and domains and you can change your site availability from private to public you can also change the sites the site languages and you can always change set your payment processes in here if you want to add your stripe account or your paypal or your square if you are from united states so let's proceed to the next step which is the editing phase so let's click on edit and it, uh, we're going to see this page expand to give us more space to see our editings so here you can add new sections or add new blocks by these buttons you can always edit the section in your right you can click on edit section you can change the background you can add an image or a video or an art you can change also colors and you can always change the format like the row count, gap, face screen, and styling, and much more. And here you can change the header if you want. If you want to give it, if you want to give your site a logo, you can upload your logo in here and adjust the logo to your likings. And if you scroll down to the bottom. You can see your footer also and you can change it from clicking on edit footer and i think the platform is pretty easy to use and it's pretty easy to edit your website because you just need drag and drop elements and here you have the styles where you can edit your fonts and your colors your your styling animations spacing you can change the buttons shape if you're if you want a round one or anything else or a sharp buttons so you can pretty much adjust everything in the platform so i just wanted to give you an idea about squarespace so i think the video is clear and if you if you didn't understand anything or if you have any questions drop them in the comment section down below and give us a thumbs up for support and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials or for more educational videos and share the videos with your friends to educate them also